Hello, good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 5th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Singular Signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesingler.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's run through the actual uh, market stats for you then. Yeah, European markets certainly closing negative uh, towards the end, especially the FTSE 100, uh, given the fact that we have Brexit concerns, uncertainty regarding Ireland. Now, London as well, Scotland, and uh, with regards to so called potential border. Either way, uh, we also have uh, news with regards to uh, potential Tory donors as well asking for Theresa May's uh, obviously exit. Again, uh, creating uncertainty. Initially, the FTSE 100 did actually uh, gap higher, uh, led by uh, the stronger Chinese data out overnight, and also given the fact that uh, Sterling certainly fell, as you can see here, we had a bit of a high. Of around 7355 uh, and 73.75 until we actually gave that back, okay. As, and uh, we hit that uh, support zone at 73.25. So that's basically where we stand then, okay. Uh, FTSE 100 finishing down 11 points, DAX finishing down 10, CAC down 10 as well. Uh, basically, all finishing negative, even though we had uh, numbers come out well, generally positive. Um, although German data did come out on the weaker side and retail sales from Europe did come out on the weaker side but the rest of the PMI data from France and Europe certainly on the stronger side even in Spain as well uh, and obviously we had Chinese data that was strong overnight too okay uh, and that was basically the state as well okay so uh, again concerns with regards to Brexit certainly causing uncertainty now one of the biggest uh, obviously uh, commodities that were weaker today were copper was copper uh, and copper certainly did trigger the, uh, as you can see here, quite a prolific sell-off on copper. We're just about stabilizing now. Okay, so copper itself certainly uh, stabilizing, certainly coming under pressure. Uh, and that in and of itself certainly did uh, send the uh, indexes lower as well to a large extent. Okay, now moving on to the uh, technical picture then. Daily chart of the uh, German DAX has put in a potential bottoming tail there. Daily chart still remains a H&S formation, so just bear that in mind. Just need to be wary of that. Okay, 60-minute chart certainly has... Bounced off the low. 10 minute chart certainly held double bottom here at 12,970. And then obviously it regained up to uh, almost 100 points higher. At the moment, after hours, we're currently trading around the 13,025 zone. So again, you are into that support around the 13,000. So watch out for that zone as well. 13,000 is support, 12,9875 certainly is support. If the market certainly gives way, then you are looking to cap fill at 12,860. So be wary of that as well in terms of the German DAX, okay? Uh, in terms of the French CAC, let's move over to the French CAC now. Let's see exactly where we stand there. Daily chart of the French CAC at the moment, really, it's a doji candle. Neither here nor there. 60-minute chart, previous resistance equals support. So basically, that's where we stand. Resistance is held at 5395. We're looking at unfilled gap below at 5315. 10 minute chart on the French CAC, we've held resistance at 5390. You've got resistance at 5400. Uh, you're looking at uh, support of 5350 and unfilled gap down below at 5315. So, again, um, certainly oscillating between support and resistance for the French CAC as well. FTSE 100 certainly uh, stopped out on this long trade towards the end of the day. Uh, daily chart, as you can see, bounced off um, the uh, key support of 7300. Uh, topping tail put in today, obviously, markets is basically consolidating. 60 minute chart at the moment, I certainly was expecting this bull flag to play out. Certainly hasn't at present. Okay, looking for a move up to 7420, 7450, 7470. Hasn't really transpired. With regards to the FTSE, obviously, if you break below a key 7300 and 7290, then the uh, bulls certainly have lost, uh, lost all clout or any potential uh, influence on the uh, market. Okay, in terms of the 10 minute chart on the FTSE, again, just looking for support 7325. Obviously, if that gives way, you're looking at a cap for 7300 and then 7290. Those levels will certainly come into play. Resistance above is seen at 7355 and 7375. If you break up through 7375, then it does bring in all the levels above. Now, the first level you're looking at would be previous resistance equals support at 7415, support resistance at 7445, and then you've got gap fill at uh, 7460 as well. So, all those levels certainly come into play. Okay, so that's the status quo. Uh, at present then uh, folks okay uh, in terms of the rest of the day again it, the onus is on the uh, u.s equities now let's see how they play out how they hold u.s data certainly has been on the weaker side please be sure to visit the uh, cfds.com website for your trading needs goodbye now